done a great job. Commissioner, let, let me add to that too. I'm sorry for interrupting you, but the people that served on this board that come under extremely harsh criticism, they're, they're just citizens. They're not prepared for the type of criticism that, that has been uh, thrown at them. And I, I think too, as you move forward uh, in the future, you're gonna have to take great care in finding folks that will, number one, you really need to have people that have business background. I understand that a typical government appointed board is one that has balance, but there's not a lot of room for socialism in developing the private sector economy. This is about entrepreneurialism. It's about people that want to make a profit. If they don't want to make a profit, we don't need them because they're not going to provide jobs. Always remember that. We have to have people that are yearning to be wealthy in order to have people that have a chance of success. Well, you can read the rest of the comment. Sorry. <laughs> That's okay. Bill, I have, I have to say, I think a little bit of an issue with you on the, that you get up every morning and, and you feel good about everything that you do because I have seen the time that I have to, if I had a hat, I'd have to throw it in the, in the door before I walked into your office. To, so. <laughs> Those are short term. Office. Those are short term. They are short term. Lips that you shouldn't mention. They are, they are short term. There are expressions of life that can be looked at. That's right. Totally. And, and and you face those challenges as well. I have to tell you because I, I think you hit the point on the head that I, I don't think that people totally understand what economic development is. No. They don't understand it. They don't understand the meaning behind it, where we're going with it, what we're trying to do. Um, but you do a good job. And in spite of all the challenges and all the criticism that you that you take every day, thank you for what you do. I commend you and your staff and the IDA board for the accomplishments that they had that you've already done. Um, I also think that the things that are around the corner are really just getting fired up real good because you know the truth about it is when you first were able to do anything with the money, the economy was still really sluggish and everybody was tentative and, you know, they were scared to invest in anything, you know, they were just wanting to see what's happening, who's going to fall, who else is going to fall, so, I mean, you know, just here recently in the past couple of years, we're seeing an ease of, you know, life's going to be okay again, and I think that y'all are just about to reap the benefits of that, so. You know, the success, the success rates of the projects that you have have been pretty incredible, um, especially considering that the time frame just started. So, kudos. I, I agree, and uh, and I also agree with you, Paul. Paul, a Amazon uh, fulfillment center sounds like uh, a wonderful thing. We can't handle it here. Even if they moved to come here, we can't. A, a thousand uh, jobs a warrior here would devastate local business that exists here. And, and I, I tell people often the first rule, at least my first rule in economic development, is don't is do no harm. First thing you do is not not screw anything that we've got going on. Um, and uh, uh, these medium-sized companies. Um, I mean, I think four can is a, is a home run. Uh, you can't expect to do that every time. And you know, if you if you get a company uh, a year that creates twenty or thirty jobs, unfortunately, that's not enough. I mean, that's uh, I, I, having being involved in the in local workforce board. I didn't understand it before, but uh, you have to create uh, a certain numbers. Somebody has to create. A certain number of jobs 